So you're roaming through Photoshop trying to lay down some colors with the bucket tool. But hold on, we got that pesky white trim. Now, I conducted a thorough search on YouTube for a quick fix, but all I found were tutorials that were excessively lengthy. So I'm gonna keep it concise and simple. The easy solution would be to just use that bucket tool again and hope for the best. But let's be real, that's not gonna cut it. Instead, use the magic wand tool, the shortcut being W, and make your selections. Then make your way up here to select, then modify, and choose expand. Determining the extent of expansion is akin to delicately seasoning a culinary dish. A sprinkle of salt here, a dash of pepper there. I typically opt for a modest 2-5 to five pixels, but hey, the canvas is all yours. After expanding your selection, elegantly transition to the layer beneath. Whether you want to use that bucket tool or pick the shortcut Control and Delete to fill in the area, the choice is yours. And should any outliers linger, delicately guide them into alignment with a subtle touch. Now, let's talk some more about the shortcuts. Time is of the essence and nobody wants to be clicking all over the place. So let's head on over to Edit, then Keyboard Shortcuts, all the way at the bottom. It even has its own shortcut, Alt, Shift, Control, and K, if you're feeling fancy. Navigate to Select, then Modify, and set yourself up a key for Expand. And there you have it. If you found value in this content, consider subscribing and giving the video a like. I plan on producing more concise guides like this, so if there's a specific issue you'd like me to cover, feel free to share it in the comments down below. That's it from me, I'll see you in the next one.